going on guys hey um harvest company i don't know why i just got on the trailer right there because i'm probably just uh out of it because i've already sprayed 11,000 acres here in 2025 and let me tell you it has been an absolute grind and like i'd say before if you haven't already hit that like hit that subscribe button because my channel's badass i've got like 12,000 freaking subscribers right because i push out heavy duty content actually i don't i kind of suck at this but hey keep following along um today i've got a short job going on it's going to be quick and easy uh it's a burn down job and i know a lot of you guys that are struggling with burn down um that just can't quite get it down as far as what to do what the settings are i'm going to kind of walk you through that and see what's going on try to help you try to help me let's go okay i'm going to be running one t40 today I, i'm still running yeah t40s they both have almost I don't know, one of them's got 18,000 acres, the other one's got 15,000 acres, and I'll be running the newer one at 15,000 acres because the other one decided to crash and burn um, last Wednesday during a, um, a a corn job that we were doing for another farmer. Yeah, literally black screened and uh, dumped itself right into the middle of the corn randomly. So I know if you've had that experience with a T40 or a T50, that's um, very common. Um, this drone, unfortunately, has been very, uh, very good for us. Both of them have. They've done a really good job. Um, we haven't upgraded to anything yet because of all the bug issues. And I don't have time for that at all. I literally have no time for hiccups or learning a new system. I have to rock and roll because I have a lot of ground to get over. Um, yeah, today I'm just going to be spraying basic Roundup, um, 32 ounces quart to the acre. Uh, I think I've got like 68, 70 acres, so shouldn't take me too long. Got my old double-decker trailer here, boys. Um, I'm here in southeast Oklahoma. Uh, this is where we stay. We're not traveling over an hour to work because all of our work is right here. Um, but, yeah, let's get down to it. I'm about to throw some chemical up in this tote. Get a little actuation going, a little activation. And, uh, you know, like I said, by the way, that is uh, 32 ounces to the acre, a quart. Some of you goons that's never mixed chemical in your life, which I'm, so I know, hey, it's part of it. Um, I will say, if you're getting into this business, make sure you know how to mix Kool-Aid before you mix chemical, because if you don't, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, guys, yeah, I look like a butcher, um, but uh, let me tell you, it beats the crap out of cancer. So, proper PPE. Um, the reason why I'm not wearing a respirator right now is because I do have a little bit of a breeze that's gonna be blowing the uh, chemical the other way. So, let's dump some juice, baby. And we're done. Uh, yeah, hey, for you guys that are new to this and haven't ever mixed chemical, um, let's just say that there is a thing called a label right here. All you gotta do is open the label up. And basically, there's a manual, right? You should have learned this on your aerial application test, right? It'll tell you everything you need to know about the chemical that you're spraying a lot of times these chemical guys they'll tell you what to do but maybe it's not right so always double check simple as that double check your freaking chemical you goons simple job today right but it could easily be freaking jacked up if you don't know how to mix your chemical right get a little bit of that agitation a little anti-drift little defoam hum you let's go let's get let's get the heck out of here right call me the butcher block and here's just like another tip for you guys. Like I know I always keep fresh water. I know the experienced ones will keep fresh water on your trailer, but I keep a little, little handy Aquaman here, little Dawn, little drop of Dawn. You know, I wash my hands periodically throughout the day because I have yet to find a perfect way to kind of keep it off your hands unless you just wear gloves all day long. And when it's 106, good luck. Uh, I have a guy who flies another drone, but uh. It's his birthday today. Shout out, Cardwell, you fat piece of shit for making me do this by myself. I'm just kidding. It was a joke. But usually we can just, you know, two-man, crew, whatever. Yeah, it's easy. 
but as of right now, I am going to do this by myself. That's why, like, I mean, if I was to upgrade and get like a P150 or a J150, <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. I know where it's at. But, like, if I was to do that, I'd have to just land it up top every single time. And basically never move it. They wouldn't ride down low because they're too freaking heavy. Ugh. Well, that's how you don't do it. Fail. Good thing everything's still good. Oh. Forgot even how to do this. So just grab right here and. Yep, that's how I do it. <clears throat> Ass cheeks. You know how bad that was? Scale of one to 10, 15. Hated every bit of it. Uh, you guys are the only people that keep my sanity because I'm talking to you on the camera because literally doing this by yourself no one to talk to no one to help you with making decisions is a giant kick to the sack but that's why i have youtube <sighs> yeah welcome to the flight deck as you can tell it's loud i got the generators busting I'm going to connect this remote to Wi-Fi, like I always do. How do I do that? Because I don't have Wi-Fi. Well, I use my personal hotspot on my phone. Go to personal hotspot. Click that bad boy on. It's going to be searching for a network. I doubt you can see that. Not working. There it is. Connected. I've mapped these phones. Uh, I've mapped these phones. I've mapped these fields on my phone, so I'm just going to go to the download button, click on the two that I need, download it to the remote. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay, so here's my field. Now I'm just going to kind of go through my settings, okay? I have a template that I use just about everything, and I just make small, small adjustments, okay? So the template, boom, running application rate, two gallons to the acre, right? Flight speed, 32.8. My route spacing with a burn down, I'm gonna do about 20. Why? Because I don't want freaking streaks and I don't want people to complain. How about that? We're gonna fly at about 12, 12 foot. It's gonna give me a good swath. I'm gonna rock and roll and burn some shit down. Okay, let's go. All right, let's get this party started. Put the old freshie in there. Give her a good turn on. Yeah, I forgot my boots, so I'm wearing dudes today. Not a great idea. Okay. Always clear your line. Obviously, I ran and flushed my pumps the other day, so there's still water in the line. Hit it. Boom. Ready to rock.
fill it up all the way, boys. Everybody knows. Nah, first trip, I never fill it up all the way. I like to give myself a little room, make sure everything's running right. Because when you got 15,000 acres on a drone, you never know what's going to happen. Every day, it's different. You don't know what you're going to do. This, this freaking drone might not even take off. Welcome to drone spraying. So the field that I'm going to be spraying is right over there. I got some wheat that's already checked up. It's about ready for harvest. It's about two weeks out. So Roundup's not going to hurt it. I got a west wind. So, and then I've got a field that's going to be having beans on it probably the next week or so. Sign me up for that booty duty. There she goes, mate. Let's hope I keep connection and everything works right. Just make sure that those uh, sensors are working properly. Everything seems to be working so far. I'm manually flying this out to the starting point because I like to do that because it's around a bunch of trees. Yeah, we'll see whenever it tries to do its start point. It might be right up against that tree. Nope, we're good. We're good. I repeat, we're good. Flow rate. Beautiful. That's going to probably stop. Absolutely. Keep trucking. Very good. It's about to detect that. Yep. Sure enough. Just like I thought. I'm gonna manually spray around the tree. Pause it. Go up a little bit farther. Start one. Oh shoot. Oh yeah. That's fine. Whatever floats my boat. Alright. Put this other battery in. I've got obviously have I have two generators down there but I'm only running one and I'm running the DJI don't ask me how it's still running I've blown up like six of those so but uh yeah we're rocking and rolling 12 foot altitude I'll show you what we got going on day three of doing this field I got my partner back finally so here's the deal, Skippy. I got my ball shades here. We're done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just probably bang this video because I'm tired and it was worthless and it took me three days to do this job because of the stupid wind. Almost broke a drone getting it off the trailer. Uh, yeah, a lot of things went wrong, uh, but uh, thanks for sticking around. If you wanna go ahead and just hit that like and subscribe like usual, I'm gonna kinda give you a little rundown. Got my dual generators right here, yep. Turd Box USA. I got my Yeti cooler. It's been sprayed with oil. I've got fresh water here. It's a hundred gallon tank, and I've got two of my IVC totes that run off a freaking Honda pump that just keeps on chugging. And I got one drone, and I got another one that's going to be fixed, uh, hopefully this week. In the parts. See you later. Keep spraying. Hasta la vista.